Hey, what do you know about kids? They are clumsy, small, and when they fall, it's funny. What? But did you know that nowadays kids started to skip Google Gaga face and instead learned words investing, motivation, and bodybuilding? Don't believe me? Look at this 11 year old boy. It's 3 a.m. on a Sunday night. All my friends are getting drunk, getting invited to parties, and losing their virginity. And I spent all night working on my business. I can't decide what sounds more surrealistic clubbing drunk 11 year olds or this guy working on his business. The only way you can get drunk at this age is by drinking old fermenting juice that you forgot to take out from your backpack. Or when you confuse your grandpa's moonshine with a bottle of water and take a sip out of it. Who didn't have that, right? Don't ask me, I had a good childhood. But just watch, in a couple of months, when I'm gonna be chilling in Dubai and living my dream life, you guys are gonna call me lucky. Just watch. Yeah, but before traveling, buying sport cars and living your dream life, you need to have parents' permission and probably a couple years of school. I mean, there isn't wrong age for being wealthy, but some certain things of an adult life will need to wait. Is it okay that I'm twice their age and I still haven't got any business? But unfortunately, there were no motivational interviews on TikTok with random people 10 years ago, so no one could tell me this. You should spend every minute of your life working on yourself. Feel tired? Of what? You can't sleep before you haven't become a professional in everything. So next time you want to sleep, remind yourself if you haven't learned how to sing Never Gonna Give You Up with farts. Fun fact, kids are filmed in these interviews too. Everything you did for me was a sign that you loved me. Since I was born, you always loved me. And you've been my friend, you've been my BFF, you've been everything for me. I don't think this kid says something bad, like, it's cute. The only question I have is why they're trying to make it so dramatic. Do you think adding black and white filter with sad music and nodding man with a beard will suddenly make every thought deep and life-changing? And then I said, don't mix pickles with milk, it's too much to take for a toilet. By the way, subscribe to this channel, I don't even need those special effects to prove that it's a great channel. And hit that bell, cause I post videos every week. If you are a pretty formed person, you understand that a lot of those interviews on the internet are crap. And unfortunately, kids can't analyze it that deeply. So they start to listen to that advice and live like true traders. Wrote to $20,000 a month as a 13-year-old. That's a big amount of money, to be honest. I'm curious how this kid wants to achieve that. Woke up at 5 a.m. Made some edits for a new TikTok account. Checking my trades from last week. Goals. Spent some time learning about SMMA. Made a possible business idea for the future. Wow, this is a lot of work this kid is doing every day. I want to say that I'm really impressed with him. Like, I'm not joking. And I hope that his dedication will repay him in some kind of form. But I decided to look deeper in his job of searching car pictures and looking at some graphics. And I read his business plan. Basically, everything starts with finding a beauty product company, then setting up a phone call and posting ads on TikTok and Facebook groups. And boom, you have $2,000 a month. Oh yeah, and don't forget to race and repeat. Hello, is beauty company on the phone. Hello, uh, I'd like to suggest you an ad company for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, is your dad at home? I thought he'll talk to us about it. No, 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 it's my ad company and... Uh, Mom, I told you to not come in. No, I'll eat broccoli without cheese. Wow, he's so mature. Unfortunately, the whole plan kind of falls apart on the first step. And I ain't got time for that shit. Goodbye. Without even saying that you can't post ads for free and you have to be in touch with groups and influencers people watch. It's a lot of work. So planning your day kind of became a trend among boys, just with different ways of becoming better. Day one of improving myself as a 13-year-old. Okay, okay, let's see what we have to do to be like a ninja or a Spartan. Work out. Sleep 8 hours. Meditation for 10 minutes. No fab. Easy. I, I can't. I don't know why, but a lot of motivational influencers think that touching yourself is like a demo that will suck out all of your energy, money, and motivation. Can someone explain me what's wrong with that? And let's stop pretending like it was easy. He's 13. We're not in a fictional movie. You know, I don't blame these kids for being naive. That's the point of vlogs about being rich and famous in 3 seconds. Kids want easy money, so they watch it, and channels gain views and money. Wouldn't you believe in it after seeing this every day? This 12-year-old girl made over 4 million dollars. Kid made nearly $440,000 at only 12 years old. Maybe those stories are true, but how to make this amount of money? Here are the top 5 online jobs that even a 12 year old could do from home. And the best part is, there's no startup cost. First one is watching ads for money. The second one is reviewing songs. The third one is being a virtual assistant. The fourth one is selling your own designs. And the last one is digital marketing or affiliate marketing. So if you watch ads for money, review songs, because obviously every artist needs to know opinion of random people for $200. And in between you do digital marketing, you can do over $1,000 daily. Why does this creator then post on TikTok instead of swimming in money? If you have a laptop with Wi-Fi and the computer 
skills of a 12 year old you can literally make from 10 to 50k a month with this side hustle. Take advantage of the internet. There is no excuse for not making money in 2023. No, why didn't I see it back in 2023? It's too late now. I know what reaction I would have after seeing this video as a 12 year old. You listen to it and understand that people do make money online, so it's probably true. So you take out your computer and think, finally, it's time to do some real work on it. Open Google and um, that's it. They never tell you what in particular you should do. And if they do, it's either a scam or send your worn socks to this trustworthy man. For what? Uh, he, he does some uh, artwork with the used socks? How? He... <laughs> You ask too many questions. I needed to make $100 on my phone in the next hour. This is exactly what I would do. So you're going to need a phone and TikTok. What we're going to be doing is going live, not being an NPC streamer, but instead by hiding your face and just using your voice. You know, you know, you know, you know, blah, blah, blah. Basically, he says that you need to ask people to send you money and like your live stream. That's it. I'm kind of tired of explaining why it's not going to work. Firstly, you can't go live on TikTok before you have 1,000 subscribers, and I believe gaining them will take you longer than one hour. Doesn't it sound just a bit unrealistic? I don't want to disappoint anyone, but sometimes it's better to objectively evaluate your capabilities. A 13-year-old boy starts his own trash cleaning business. That's what I'm talking about, put kids in the places where they need to be. No, not in a trash can. I mean small places. For example, manhole? We can call it kid's room. Sounds fun and it's more comfortable for kids than adults. But for real, this kid is following his dream of earning his own money and it's great. But I hate the idea of grown-ups influencing your children to grow up and act like an adult. Instead of having a normal childhood. Do you have any advice for a 13-year-old? Yes, I have. I've got a son at 11 years old. I am pushing my son to be as technical as possible. He's doing coding, he's doing YouTubing, he's doing videography he's doing editing yes he's only 11 years old it might not be to their great standard but at least his thinking is in the right direction turn him into a computer or ai already they are pretty technical and plankton dated computer so he's not going to be alone as a grown-up it's great when you develop your children but they also need rest i'm not a doctor but i know that raising kids is hard and children's development is hard too in order to raise a happy person you can't just put some knowledge and money in them our psych matters too you can expect a child's psych to function the same way as an adult, which means nothing to those creators, because they manipulate kids' desire to be an adult. And in their world, being an adult means working very, very hard. As a surprise, it's not always connected to money. And guess what's the next important thing after money? Gym. You're 13 years old and you're 15 years old and you're 17 years old, work out. Lift weights to get bigger and stronger. What is he saying? I strongly disagree with that point. You should start working out at least at 5 years old, and by 13 you'll become one muscle ball. For what? Well, I think it's fun to bounce. Maybe this girl will explain it a bit more. As soon as you turn 13, here are the three things you need to do. The first thing you need to do is start going to the gym, guys. You do not want to be out of ship, and I don't want you guys to get bullied. As soon as you legally become a 13-year-old, don't wait till the morning to celebrate it. You are a grown-up now. You can do whatever you want. So, it's 12 a.m. on your 13th birthday. Go to the gym. Now is the only thing you want to do. Oh wait, there were two more things. The second thing you need to do at 13 is to get a skincare routine. Or again, you can start doing it earlier. I have the whole video about Sephora kids. Please don't think that I'm against sport and showering. Even I do it from time to time. I mean showering, because sport is what I do daily, which you can see by my muscles. The best advice for young men. Don't light yourself on fire to keep others warm. This creator will be surprised by some traditions in Ecuador and some Slavic countries. But I guess I agree on that. It's great advice to not light yourself on fire, to not drink bleach and to not lay down on bed in the nether. Don't repeat your parents' mistakes. Don't let society make your important decisions. If you don't fit in, stop trying to. If you want to learn more wolf phrases, follow this account. How a teenage boy should find out what he should do. On the one hand, you should go to gym to not get bullied as the previous creator said. On the other hand, you need to stop trying to fit in. But the funny part is to be that sigma male and lowly wolf, you still have to fit into this culture or this lifestyle, I don't know how to call it. So as you can see, all boys are now pressured to become successful, have a lot of money and muscles. Seems like the world won't need you if you spend your time like a child. So they start doing sports. And what do you think those kids look like after dedicating their life to sport? Like this and this. Both of these guys are 13-year-olds. I'm scared to say a bad word about Gen Alpha, I'm not winning this fight. Again, 
I'm not a doctor, so I don't know if there are any disadvantages of extreme workouts at 13 years old. It looks strange and cool at the same time. And honestly, I don't know how these kids managed to achieve it. Like, I can't believe that they are so young. Some of them even post their own workouts how to achieve these muscles. People used to say, look at your older sibling and be like them. Or did you know what I did in your age? What are they going to say now? Please don't beat me up. Taking their phone away won't work out anymore. And what goals are these kids going to have in their 20s? Finish third master's degree or retire from their multiple businesses? We were laughing at Gen Alpha being a doomed generation because they watch brain rot content and can't leave a second without their phone or iPad. But suddenly they transformed into them. Maybe this guy was right about making kids as technological as we can. Phone, please. I don't know how to ask you, but can you please give me like million dollars and some muscles? My screen time is pretty high lately. I don't think it's working. And don't think that only boys set some high expectations for themselves. Like this bench press tier list for 12 years old. 100 kilograms? Are you serious? Girls do something different, but not any less controversial. Do it for her, your 13 year old self. What should a 13 year old girl do in your opinion? Maybe have sleepovers with your girlfriends? Or find new hobbies or watch TV series? No, she should be skinny. Closed mouths don't eat. Fact, the less you eat, the less you crave them. Imagine the weight you're losing is going to the person you hate. I hope no young girls have seen this post. The problem of kids trying to act like grown-ups is that they see it only from the top. Like, what do adults care about? Their looks, how skinny they are, how fit they are, how much money you're making. But there are a lot more things that people care about. Kids are too young to realize that there are more important things than the jeans that fit you. And when you tell them that they need to be some certain way or they're not gonna be happy, it's traumatic. There's nothing bad with wanting your kids to have a great future and help them with that. But putting so many obligations that even grown-ups can do is bad. Don't spend another year doing the same shit. What does that supposed to mean? Like going to school? Doing your homework? When you're 13, you actually need to repeat some certain things. And even sports that everyone likes so much need discipline. You will live without it. That's what people usually think. You can live without a couple of ribs to make your way slimmer. You can live without having a childhood to be a successful trader. Actually, you can live in many different circumstances. And if a person can survive a shark attack, it doesn't mean that you have to repeat it. Isn't it better to do something that you like? Is it normal for a 13 year old? I know this video is pretty funny, but I don't want to laugh at him because I saw the comments under this video. To have skinny arms? Yes. No. Work harder. Mine's bigger. Skinny. Not really. You're too skinny. Why are people being so mean to a kid showing off his muscles? Okay, maybe it's cringy, but there is no need to put this kid down. And then children can't stop improving themselves to show that they can be better and that they can do more to finally feel that acceptance. Isn't it sad? In this generation of teenagers, there is very few who focus on self-improvement. They call themselves the 1%. They truly believe that they need to sacrifice and devote their lives to become the best version version of themselves. Well, I don't know if they really call themselves the 1%, but I found some pictures that gave me the same vibe. Teenage life or teenage life. Others after school. Me after school. I hope that sacrificing their lives makes them happy. Sorry, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. I think Loki, everyone as a teenager thought that they were cooler or smarter than everyone. I thought that I was cooler because I spent a lot of time alone reading. Others thought that I was scary because I didn't talk to people too much. You see, it's the point of view. Now I'm an extroverted hell from my teenagehood. I hope that when these kids grow up, they will understand that they have more time than until sixth grade to become successful and rich. And they will be happy and satisfied with their lives. I don't think I think I know a lot of people who could say this, but I think it's a great goal to reach. And please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'm a small creator and it is really important for me. Bye!